another counter move in effort to protect abortion rights in the United States. President Joe Biden signed a second executive order, this time aimed at making it easier for women to travel between states for the procedure. The women of America should not be the subject of partisan debate or perspective. We trust the women of America to make those decisions if she chooses in consultation with her faith leader, with her physician, with her loved one. But we understand fully the government should not be making that decision for her. Since the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, the White House has been limited in what it could do to fight back without congressional action. Like the first executive order signed in July, the latest order does not detail when and how abortion and reproductive rights will be protected. Biden's actions come a day after Kansas voters overwhelmingly rejected to remove abortion protections from the state's constitution. The Kansas poll is the first of many asking voters to weigh in on the matter. The Vote No campaign could give a push to states considering ballot proposals on changing the state's constitution, including Kentucky, California, Vermont and possibly Michigan. Democrats hope the issue of abortion rights may help drive voters to the polls in November's midterm elections.